Today I'm going to show you how I do lackey plaits, no sewing required. So the plait on the right has been sewn in and the next one along is a lackey plait. So to start with I section off the amount of hair for my next plait and I use a clip to hold the rest of the hair out of the way. Now I get some water in a spray bottle so I can dampen the hair. I find when it's nice and damp you get a much better result. I then like to use a plaiting spray. I use the NTR Smooth Braids Gel Spray. I spray top and bottom. And then for some added stickability and a little bit of extra control with the flyaways, you can use a hair wax. This is the NTR Sculpting Stick. So comb the hair down so it's all nice and neat. Now this part of the plait is exactly the same as you would do if you were sewing them in. So I just neaten it off, section it into three and plait it down. The first little couple of sections there I do a little bit looser and then I like to make the plait nice and firm. If this part of your plait is too loose you'll find that when you roll it into the rosette or fold it into the rosette it will um, push apart and look a bit messy. So plait down, I like to have my plaits around 12 centimeters or so long thereabouts that way when the way I do them I fold it in half and then in half again that gives me the right size rosette. I like to use the Ethel non-snap plaiting bands they come in black and clear and I find they're nice and tight but still quite stretchy. This part of it now is we're actually going to make it into the rosette so I've slowed this part of the video down so it's a little bit easier to watch. So to start off with, place the elastic, the plaiting band in the middle of the plait, wrap it round once. And now I fold it in half, so now the band is at the end. So this is the end that often then pops out. By having it wrapped around the middle, that then gets tucked underneath like that and it can't pop out because you've got the lackey on. And wrap the, the rest of the plaiting band around the plait. And it is as easy as that. If you use different plaiting bands that are a bit uh, looser, you might find you need to wrap it around again so that it's not too loose. But the way I like to do it with these plaiting bands, I find they just pop over the once and that stays nice and secure. You don't end up with a big ugly bobble and it's very easy to do.